There are only two kinds of people in the world, those who like Barry Manilow and the other miserable, joyless morons for whom life has no meaning or purpose. What I've learned over the years is that it is easy to define and completely understand a person by any single factor. Their race, religion, sexual orientation, height, weight, hair color, accent, politics, or what do they prefer, Burger King to McDonald's. Despite the fact that I've always believed I knew everything I needed to know about people by the shoes they wear, I have finally settled on the ultimate litmus test of character, being whether or not someone loves the music of Barry Manilow. Given that most people under 40 don't know who he is, that leaves two entire generations hopeless. Sorry, not sorry. You see, knowing that someone doesn't love Barry Manilow makes clear that they don't have good taste, good judgment, good rhythm, or good sense. More importantly, the moral character of someone who doesn't love the sound of my favorite aging lounge singer is clear. Bad. They all have bad character and represent an evil influence that must be purged from society. They need to be shamed, scorned, ostracized, and avoided. Never mind that my DNA is 99.9% .9 identical to people who share no common ancestry with me. If they don't like Barry Manilow, I will strictly follow this five-point plan for dealing with him going forward. And this goes for family, too. Especially family. First, unfriend on Facebook. My first and most important act will be to actively seek out anyone I can who doesn't like Barry Manilow. I will carefully review all music posts on Facebook and immediately unfriend them. I only want to see posts on Facebook that support my view that Mandy is the greatest song ever. Ever! Hate on Twitter. That'll be sex step two. Because Twitter is more anonymous, I will not unfollow Barry Manilow haters. I will hate them. I will hate on everything they post. I will stay up late at night waiting for Neil Diamond fans to post about how much they love Sweet Caroline and I will go at them with both barrels. That ignorant so-called taste in music can't be tolerated on Twitter. I will hate the haters into submission. Someone's got to do it. Third, I will apply rules one or two to all other social media. Of course, it goes without saying that I will apply one rules one or two to all social media accounts. I reserve the right to be somewhat arbitrary, sometimes applying rule one on Instagram and sometimes rule two. I know that it is controversial, but don't give me any grief about it. If you do give me grief, I will instantly assume that you're a non-Manilo fan and you will be in big, big trouble with me. I will avoid people in life. This, this is step four. I, it could get tricky at times, but I will avoid ever being in the presence of someone who doesn't share my love of Coca Copacabana. This may be get difficult because my wife isn't a Barry Manilow fan, so I'll sleep with my back to her so she can feel the hate coming through the cover, covers in her direction. Of course, it goes without saying that I will never attend another family reunion, church meeting, or community event where a non-Manilow fan may be present. And fifth, I will seek support. I will seek out like-minded individuals wherever I can find them. Swap meets, chat rooms, drive-in movies, senior centers, wherever. We will get together, ostensibly to talk about how great Barry Manilow is. We'll play his music in the background. Some weeks we'll just have I Made It Through the Rain play on an endless loop. But mostly, we'll talk about all the bad people who don't like Barry Manilow. We'll make up for shorthand names for them like Nonilows and Manny Pans and develop our own code words and phrases to use so we can insult people without their even knowing. It will be awesome. After every meeting, formal or informal, we'll be able to leave knowing that we are superior to all of the nonalos and mani pans out there. I'm excited to get started. Watch your Facebook posts. posts. I'm following you. One slip and you're gone. Of course, you won't slip because you're reading my post. You'll be awesome. Humming, I write the songs everywhere you go.